Okay, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Here we go again with something new, something different, something completely different. Checking out Brandy, which is the real spirit of America, the native spirit, so to speak. You know, ever since the 13 colonies, apple, brandy was what people made, you know what I mean? And uh, the distillery, Laird's from what I understand, is one of the first distilleries in the United States. Brandy is typically fruit-based, so you could have apple brandy, peach brandy, grape brandy, which is the type that we, we usually think of, but yeah, apple brandy, you know? Johnny Appleseed, <laughs> pure American, I love it. So I wanted to check out this brand here because I know Laird's has a lot of uh, brandies, apple brandies, and I wanna go through all of them. So I'm gonna start off with this one that I saw. So this is the Laird's Straight Applejack 86. This is 100% apple brandy. The label says that this is 43% alcohol by volume, 86 proof, which is why I was interested because, you know, it's kind of like I've been complaining about, you know, these 80 proof spirits don't really do it for me. So yeah, I mean, the 80 proofs are okay when you're out, maybe having dinner or something. But like when I'm home, I don't need to worry about going anywhere or driving. So you know, I can go for something a little bit stronger, like around 90 proof or something. So I like this 86 proof. It says on here that 17 pounds of apples go into every bottle. Wow, didn't know that, 17 pounds. So here's a copy on here. In case you guys haven't read this before, I'll read it to you. It says Laird's Applejack, apple brandy, has been distilled by the Laird's, America's oldest family distillers since 1780. Straight Applejack was originally produced pre-prohibition at 86 proof. Applejack 86 represents the rebirth of this historic American brandy. It is a smooth, full spirit for use in cocktails, over ice, or neat. Bottled by Laird, Scobieville, New Jersey. So what I'm gonna do is crack this open. Oh, okay, it's not a cork top, it's a screw top. Give a little bit of a pour here. And let's go ahead and let that breathe a little bit. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, the format I usually follow is I try it first, which is what this is gonna be, give you my initial reaction, my first impression. Then I'll kind of chill with it for a week or so, as long as it takes, uh, you know, maybe a couple weeks, three weeks for this one. Then I'll come back and do a long term because what you'll learn when you get into these like brandies and whiskeys and uh, spirits in general is that sometimes, you know, the way you first get it out the bottle, it might mellow a little bit once it gets some air or, you know, after you get used to it or something, you know, you gotta, you gotta put it through its paces, you know, you gotta try it in different places. So uh, that's what I'm doing here, starting off with the 86. So I can tell immediately, I can smell apples. I'm gonna nose it here. Oh, wow, yes, this smells like apple juice. Yes, as you'd imagine, which I hope is not gonna be too sweet because I don't like real sweet um, spirits, but yeah, what I'm smelling right here is I'm smelling apple cider. If you ever smelled apple cider, you know what that smells like. So 86 proof, about time to move into the tasting. Let's see what we got here. Wait, 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 before that, gotta give it the color. Let's take a look at the color here. It is the color of apple juice, not apple cider. Okay, cheers. Okay, that's just to get the palette set. Now let's go ahead and try it. Mm-hmm. One down. Smooth. Pretty smooth. I'm not getting any burn. I'm not getting any burn. Not for real. This is 86 proof. So what I taste here is apples, of course, but not strong. It doesn't taste like apple juice or apple cider. Um, you get, you know you're having a drink here. 
Which is good because if it would have been like real like uh like sweet and syrupy or something else like that, I would have hated it. But no. Uh it tastes it's tastes kind of like other brandies that I've had before, but this just has a little bit taste of uh apple in it. Maybe a little bit of pear in there too. Get a little bit of the um ethanol in here, the alcohol, so um, yeah, it's got a little bit of punch to it. I like it. I like it so far. Um, hmm. Now, I know from the product lineup, this is the straight 86. Uh, I know there's also a, so by the way, this is straight, right? So like any other straight, um, you know, spirit, this means that this is straight Applejack. That means this is nothing but apples in here, as opposed to if it doesn't say straight, that means, you know, maybe it's apple brandy with some neutral spirits also. So straight tells me that it's 100% apple brandy, no, no added colors, no flavors, nothing else like that. And it's been aged for at least two years, probably longer because this is something new. Giving you all something new here. Everybody's not even on this. Now you're going to go back later, maybe years from now, people are going to watch in this video and I'm going to be the first one that's really getting into this brandy like this. So this is new, relatively inexpensive too. I think you can get this bottle for, this might've been like 16 or $17, maybe, you know, for 86 proof, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. It's good, I like it. I like it, I like it a lot. Um, I'm gonna have to try this over some ice, but, I mean, I'm good with it, just like how it is. Nice and neat. I think it's pretty good, so I gotta try it out. I'll be back on another video, put it through its paces, tell you what I think, but so far, it's a thumbs up. We'll see how it holds up. You know, watch a couple movies. Uh, Game of Thrones last season is out, so I need to probably, you know, watch out a couple of those episodes. Maybe Bosch, too. I'm not sure, if y'all watch Bosch on Amazon, that's my show, too. And I'm not really a big, I guess, true crime junkie, but I do like the, um, the Bosch series, I do like those. Uh, they're good, they're good. They give you, you know, something a little bit more, you know, gritty. So I like those. You know, Titus also. Um, oh, I know, I know what's his name, Jamie Hector. Right, Jamie Hector. He was, uh, was he Marlo from The Wire? Yes, he was Marlo from The Wire. Jamie Hector, do your thing. Anyway, I'll be back on the next episode. I'll tell you what I think about Laird's straight Applejack 86. Thanks for watching. See you next time.